Hi everyone, you're home on Tools of the James and today we're in the backyard. We're going to build a greenhouse. I'm going to show you how you can make one using PVC pot. Let's go and take a look. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is consider where you want to put the greenhouse in your yard. Greenhouses, you're looking for full sun or as much sun as you possibly get. Uh, in my case, I'm at the back of my yard here next to the chook pen. Uh, I'll get probably sun from 9am in the morning through to late evening, so it'll be plenty of sun for me. Next thing you want to consider is uh, how big you want to build this greenhouse. Uh, today I'm going to build one that's four metres in length and three and a half metres wide. Uh, and I'm going to do a concrete floor in this one, so I'll take you through that. So maybe something to consider when you're building yours. Do you want to do a full concrete floor or you just want to do footings um, and leave the floor, you know, totally natural. That's up to you. So let's go and take a bit of a look at, uh, at preparing the base uh, and getting ready for uh, getting ready for the concrete. Alright, so there we go, we've got our concrete formwork done, so now we need to take a look at the footings. Uh, what I'm going to do with this uh, greenhouse is, if you are ever put together a dome tent, you remember you had those little bamboo poles that you used to bend over and put into the lugs down the bottom. I'm going to use the same principle here, and what I've got is I've bought this 25mm gal pipe that you'd normally use for, uh, for rising a tap. I'm going to cut this down to 600mm uh, pieces and put sort of 30 in the ground and 30 up high. And then what I'm going to use is a 32mm PVC plastic pipe and that's going to go over the top of these in the ground and then you're going to bend around and make our tunnels for our greenhouse. So let's go and have a look at digging the footings uh, and then we'll get these concreted in the ground ready to go. Okay, I've got the concrete slab poured ready for our uh, greenhouse and uh, I didn't film that one, it, uh, concrete always stresses me out, trying to make sure I get it right. Uh, did a pretty good job of it, it's going to be absolutely fine for a greenhouse. But what we're on to now is the frame stage that I'm going to be making out of PVC polypipe and I'm actually going to be using 32mm polypipe. Now this is the high pressure stuff, right, so it's pretty thick. Now there's a couple of things we need to do here, so first of all we want nice even hoops and this stuff, as you'll see, I'll demonstrate put it onto these stakes it doesn't it, you can flex it but it puts it under a lot of tension as you can see so we don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a technique to bend these into really nice hoops um, and let's go and do that in the shed I'll show you how we do it well all right we're in the shed and I'm going to show you the technique that I use to bend this uh, this rigid PVC pressure pipe so the first thing we want to do is go and get yourself some nice clean sand so I actually went to a local hardware store it was the Bunnings uh, and I bought uh, child's play sand, 20 kilo bag, it cost me about $7. Uh, and the, the reason I bought this is it's nice and clean, uh, it doesn't have any weeds in it, it doesn't have any bacteria etc in it. Because what we're actually going to do is we're going to put this sand in the oven. So I wanted to make sure that the sand was nice and clean as it's going into, uh, into our inside oven. What we're going to do from there is get yourself a couple of foil trays. Uh, and typically I found about 5 kilos in a 3 metre length here. Uh, which is what I'm working with. Five kilos of sand was enough to fill the inside of the pipe. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bake this sand uh, for a couple of hours on 180 degrees 
uh, and then we're going to fill uh, these pipes and what that'll do is make the pipe go like a loose like a noodle uh, and allow us to, to ply it uh, the way we wanted it to, uh, to shape it. In this case we want to shape it into hoops. Uh, and what you'll see over here on the wall is I've made a bit of a jig up uh, and I've set this up at a 90 degree angle because uh, these are my half hoops that I require uh, for the job. And I've got three and a half meters of span that I need to get across. So each one of these hoops need to go, needs to span 1.75 meters. So I've marked up from the wall here 1.75 meters. Uh, and then the height that I was chasing was 1.9. I'm about 183 centimeters. So it'll allow plenty of headroom, well, just enough headroom for me to get through. Uh, so you can see I've made this jig up. And what I'll do is when the pipe heats up from the sand, uh, I'm gonna place it in this jig and it'll leave me with perfect, uh, perfect hoops. And it'll make sure that the pipe uh, remains nice and round and doesn't kink. Um, so it gives you a really good effect. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure that we do when we do this is we want to cap one of the ends. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, silicon spray in it just so I can get the cap off easy because when it does heat up you might find it sticks. So cap one end and then we want to put it somewhere where you've got some elevation uh, and you'll need a ladder uh, to get up top. And I've put a siphon in one end uh, and I'm pouring the hot sand um, into the pipe, capping the other end, putting it into my, um, my jig and I'll have this perfect bend. Now, once you put the hot sand uh, into the pipe, you sort of get, I would say, 30 seconds to a minute. It'll really start getting loose on you. Um, so you wanna get into your jig pretty quick. And then after sort of 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how hot you got your sand, uh, it'll cool off and it'll be where it needs to be. And you should have yourself some perfect 90 degree bends. So let's have a look at the finished product. Well, all right, I've made a couple of my 90 degree hoops up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you, I'll put a couple in place, I'll mock it up and then I've got a whole bunch more to make. So I'll show you these going in place. So pretty much simple, we're just going to put them over the, the stakes, um, the concrete in the ground. My two. So them like so. And then I've got a T-piece for a joiner here. I'm going to join them in like so. And there's one piece of our frame. So we want to make the rest. So. I've got some bending to do. I'll join you back and we'll, we'll put the frame together. Okay, so I've been busy. I've, uh, I've made all the cuts that I need to make and I've bent all my hoops uh, in my jig uh, that I needed to bend. Uh, I've collected all my, uh, my pressure fittings. So you can see those all here. Um, so we're pretty much ready to construct. Now, I've gone with the glues. So I've got my, uh, I've got my primer. Um, so you want to use the primer on each join so you get really good adhesion with your glue. So I've got my primer. Uh, I've got the glue. Uh, I've gone with the pressure uh, cement on this one. I've gone the clear, not the green. Uh, obviously, it's going to be on display, so you want it to look pretty sharp, right? So, got the clear, got a couple of bottles of that. I'm um, do the job. Uh, the other thing that I've done on each uh, each section here is that I've labelled I've labelled where they are, where they all go, um, because there's quite a few pieces. Um, you know, didn't want to sort of get confused with where I was. Uh, and to cut them, I've used the table saw. Uh, so the table saw does a really good job on these. Um, just a circular saw, cut it like it was timber and uh, get a nice clean edge. So sit back, relax and we'll uh, do a build, build laps of this all going up.
there you go we've got the frame up and all glued together and now we're up to the stage where we're going to cover it with our plastic now the plastic that i've chosen to use uh, for over the top i've got a tarpaulin type uh, material um, it's really quite thick clear it's got a rope in the end and it's got eyelets uh, in it this will make it really easy for me to, to attach it uh, to the frame so it's going to go over the top uh, of the greenhouse i bought that on ebay and i did buy uh, a much better quality one so it did cost a few dollars uh, if you want to know where I got it, jump in the uh, comments below and I'm happy to get back to you. Uh, for the front and the back of the greenhouse, I'm using this really thick plastic, uh, I got it from the same company, really thick plastic uh, sheeting that I'm going to go attach to the front and the back and the doors. So I've got my material ready to go. Uh, I need to look at some fastenings that we're going to use to fasten this to the, uh, to the frame. Uh, and what I've got here is these 32mm poly pipe clips. They're available from Bunnings, they're really easy ones. Uh, to, to, to buy and they work easy, they just clip on and away you go. So I've got those, I've got some, uh, I've got some smaller ones for the door, so the door frame is going to be used out of 25mm, so I've got some 25mm clamps. Uh, I've got these really cool clips, um, I'll give you a closer look at these, these clips are for fastening the tarp to the bottom and you can just sort of see at the side there, you can just snap them shut and they lock shut really good. So I've got those, really good pair of scissors, I've got Milwaukee ones. Uh, to cut the plastic because I want some pr precise cuts and I'm also going to use the hot glue gun as well uh, just to fasten it in some certain places where I want it to, ma to make sure it sticks so. so I forgot to mention just so you can see what I'm uh, what I'm fastening these to the bottom of the uh, the frame with I'm using these galvanized M8 um, eyelet screws and basically what I'm done with this is I, I, when I put the plastic over I don't want to create a big weather balloon that once it gets some wind, wind underneath it it, uh, it picks off and flies away in the air so I've actually taken these and I've drilled right through um, the base here and it goes through the metal gull stakes that I've got concrete into the ground and the eyelet comes out the back here with those plastic clips um, that I'm going to run through the eyelets of the uh, of the tarp that covers the top and what that'll do is just make sure that the whole thing's fastened stiffly to the ground uh, and can't fly away on me. All right, let's go and get into it. So there we go, we've got the top cover fitted to the, uh, to the greenhouse and it's come up really, really well. Uh, I've only got it sort of just temporarily in position for now. Uh, but if you have a look, I've got those clips uh, down the bottom here, so they're all locked in. They're through my uh, my anchor bolts that I've ran through the bottom, uh, and they're just clipped up, so that come up really nice. And as you can see, I've got them. I, I got these a meter apart. Um, I got when I ordered the the top cover or the tarp, if you like. So they've lined up really nicely with my uh, my my uh, my hoops. So we're nice and secure there. Uh, the tarp at the front. I've got it ran uh, currently right to the edge, as you can see. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the front panel on and the back panel on and then secure this up and over the top. So I've just got this uh, basically just uh, tagged in place for now. And if I come around to the back, I've got a little bit more overhang on this side, which is totally fine because you're not going to see it. And I've just got, you can see how these clips work. I've just got these clips temporarily in place for the overhang. So I'll do the back here and I'll tuck this overhang up, um, uh, up out of the way. So let's get going with putting these back and front panels on but really happy with how it's come along so far well all right we made some really good progress here and uh i tell you a hot tip on this one pardon the pun is uh don't do it in the day time in the middle of the day i am absolutely roasting in here um, but at least the greenhouse uh, is working it's doing what it should do uh, as you can see i've got the plastic on the back and front uh, it was pretty straightforward it was just a wrap it over cut it to size and then use these clips and i'll i'll come in a little bit closer on these clips for you um, really quite easy when you wrapped it over in the edge uh, of your PVC pipe it was just a matter of clipping these on and they do give you a nice um, reaffirming click when they go on so you can see they're all in place so uh, coming along really nicely let's move on all right so now we're up to making a door uh, I'm actually gonna make the door out of 25 mil PVC pipe uh, a little bit skinnier uh, than the 32 that I've been running Probably the trickiest thing with the door is getting a hinge that works really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have the door with a 25 and I'm going to make a hinge up out of this. Basically I'm going to slide the 25 inside the 32 uh, and then we should be able to wheel that back and forward as we open the door. So it should work a treat. So let's go and construct a door. Pretty basic, straightforward stuff. Uh, and then get this hinge uh, bolted up and yeah, move on to the next part. 
So the door is built and on. Uh, I'll give you a closer look at what I've done here. So I've used 25 mil uh, poly pipe on this one, as I said, uh, and, and the tricky part was the hinge. And you can see with the hinge here, I've used the 32 mil with how it slid up inside. And I've got my T pieces and my elbows on my door frame snugly in those 32. So it does rotate on that really, really nicely and make a really good hinge. Um, basic, really basic frame, uh, cut to size, glued together, really easy, like anyone can do this. Wrapped it in the plastic and I used the 25 mil clips to fasten the plastic on. Uh, and then I used the hot glue gun actually to attach this uh, to the main door frame, uh, which has worked really, really well. Um, and as you can see, the door, it opens and it closes uh, absolutely beautifully. So all I need to do for this is work out a latch system um, so I can close up the door and uh, we are on the home run. And there we go, the greenhouse all finished. Uh, look really happy with how this turned out and uh, really looking forward to getting in there and, uh, and decking it out with some, uh, some garden beds and some irrigation uh, to get uh, some veggies growing and they'll be in some further vids. So if you did like the content and you wanna see more, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like, uh, any comments that you might have. Uh, if you want any more information about the build here, I'm happy to answer the comments down in the comment section. But really uh, hope you enjoyed the video. You've been at home on the Tools with James and I'll see you in the next one.